ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحدي حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدع وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار ثم عما بعد الحمد لله today we have the Eid celebration and firstly jazak Allahu khair to all those who make effort for these blessed occasions this is a day we are commanded by Allah to commemorate the sacrifice of our forefather Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam this is our day a day of celebration yawmul nahar the day of slaughtering the day we sacrifice cattle for Allah Allah mentioned in surah al-an'am say verily my salah my sacrifice my living and my dying are for Allah the lord of the alamin and this was revealed concerning the hajj and the umrah that our salah our sacrifice is for Allah alone the lord of everything and Allah mentions in surah al-hajj it is neither their meat nor their blood that reaches Allah but it is piety from you that reaches him in the time of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the the idol worshipers they would sacrifice animals and then they would take the meat and put it on their idols and then they would take blood and sprinkle it on the idols and the sahaba they mention that we have more right to that and then Allah revealed this ayat it is neither their meat nor their blood that reaches Allah but it is piety from you that reaches him Allah is not in need of the flesh or the blood of the sacrifice but Allah has commanded us to remember him at the time of slaughtering because see Allah is the creator and the provider of everything so this sacrifice is an act of worship and our sacrifice it is based upon tawhid it is based upon having sincere intentions upon the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam now let us ponder and reflect let us take this remaining time to ponder and reflect after this blessed virtuous and magnificent day this virtuous timing what is next if we check ourselves 
and we are truthful without a doubt. There are many things we need to sacrifice, so to speak. We all have shortcomings. We all have some sort of evil thoughts and desires. As mankind, we falter, we make mistakes, and we commit sins. Let us not be like the animals who just do as they please as they can. They eat, they sleep, eat, defecate, eat, and just roam the place heedlessly. Let us make a greater effort to sacrifice our desires of evil and replace them with desires of good. Let us sacrifice the hours of television and movies and social media and let us fluctuate a little more to the house of Allah, the masjid. We should try to sacrifice the hours of music the listening and the enjoyment of music and we should try to learn about Allah learn our deen and learn about our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we must sacrifice the block life the gang culture the ghetto life and the, the wasting of life and we, sh we should strive to become better Muslims. We must try harder to sacrifice the different addictions, the drugs, the weed, the gambling, the stealing, the boyfriend and the girlfriend, the haram relationships, the lying, the backbiting, the slandering, the gossiping, and we should strive to become better Muslims who obey Allah, who obey His commands, and stay away from His prohibitions. Let us not live like the animals. We should take some time, analyze ourselves, and sacrifice our animalistic ways and desires and strive to become better Muslims. Barakallahu feekum, hayakum Allah. May Allah grant us, all the Muslims, a wonderful, safe, blessed, and productive Eid. Ameen.